hello everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to see how to create this beautiful elements library so it's a set of materials a set of furnitures everything clubbed into one single stack and we can use this anytime anyhow that we want to especially on our floor plans so firstly i have downloaded all these types of materials as you can see i'm going to keep scrolling for some time from everything from pinterest so make sure that you download the best quality all the designs according to your taste so yeah these are all the images that i had downloaded from pinterest so you can just have a look Alright, so now uh, I've taken a canvas and you have to insert a photo. So this stack or elements library is going to be of uh, stone or you can say marble or granite. So I'm just going to simply import images and arrange them like this inside the canvas. So there is a variety of textures that I had already downloaded. So I'm just importing them into the canvas and I'm arranging them like this. Guys until now I feel this is the most easiest video that i've ever made but it's very very effective and very very useful so there you go i have downloaded a variety of textures and i'm just arranging it like this so this becomes your granite or marble elements library and in the new canvas again i am going to start with the carpet textures so again I had downloaded a variety of uh, designs for carpet and if you had more time or if you are very keen on your type of taste of uh, interior design then you can spend more time and download the carpets or you know uh, any other textures or materials according to your taste so i had missed this in my last uh, library but so here what you have to do is after arranging everything like this together go to the layers column and you see this background color just switch off that layer so right now you don't have a background for this image so the same thing goes for every other uh, set of library so here uh, this is a wooden texture especially for flooring so I'm just selecting each materials everything downloaded from Pinterest you guys the mood of the colors and the patterns are completely very aesthetical and very very related to interior design so always opt for pinterest rather than google so here again background color i'm switching it off so again in a new canvas insert a photo scroll down and tiles so this library is going to be about tiles so the size or the dimensions of these textures doesn't matter so you can have as many textures as you want and you can arrange it as small as you want to on the sheets as far as the uh, quantity quality of the picture or the image is good you can shrink it to however small you want to so 
this page completely has only tiles which can be used for cladding or flooring I am going to switch off the background color and now let's move to the next canvas so if you ha have all the um, downloaded images ready then it's very easy to create your elements library so here you can see I have downloaded this chair image from top view and it has a white layer around it so go to the selection toolbar automatic selection and just press and scroll towards your left side there you go so that only the white part around the background is selected and just erase that white background and here you can see the white background is disappeared so there you go we have converted it into a PNG and now we are going to use any pen of your choice pen or a brush and just define the edges properly because here you can see it's all very scattered or not very defined so I'm just giving this slight outline so that the elements have a clean finish and um, I'm going to long press on this color right here and fill up this white gap so there you go I'm going to repeat the same thing for all the other furnitures or chairs So the main motive to create these library sets is to you know have a bunch of images under a particular folder so that you can use it without any it's basically hassle free and you can use these items n number of times especially for floor plans or uh, elevations sections for sections you can download images that are in elevations so yeah right now I'm just working out for floor plans so all the furnitures are from top view you can also draw your own furniture you guys you can have a reference image like if you go through my shorts videos in my channel then you will see a lot of uh, handmade drawings of each element but right now I'm showing you the most easiest process and which is often used especially in photoshopping uh, you know in post-production of flow plans and all photoshop is used the most and in photoshop we use all these uh, elements or pngs so we can create our very own cute little library within procreate so why not So chairs are almost done so when I erase the background color you can still see these white lines so I'm just reducing the eraser size and I'm going to erase around each of these furnitures so that when you use it on a different file you won't be seeing this white cast around your objects Baby, 
and in the new layer of course we need to have bed so I have imported this bed and I'm just using the freehand selection tool and I'm just selecting the edges of this bed select invert and erase the outer portion of the bed there you go so I'm going to show you just three types of bed but usually we can have more than three right so this is just an example another type of bed So I have just selected the edges using the freehand invert and erase the excess white cast around it. So after we are done with the elements library just go to the select option right here and select all your library set and press stack. So when you press stack, everything, all the elements library goes under one single stack. So all your textures are into one single stack. So now going into individual library, just pinch all these elements together so that it is into one single layer. And when you select one object, you can easily three finger swipe down and copy go to a new canvas three finger swipe down again and paste see it is this simple you guys I'm just going to duplicate the same layer again So I'm just showing you an example. So just imagine if there is a floor plan or an outline of a floor plan that you had drawn or a PDF of the floor plan that you had imported and you need to fill it in with furnitures. So yeah, again this one I'm just pinching all the layers together using a rectangle selection tool. I'm going to select this carpet. Three finger swipe down copy go to your canvas three fingers swipe down paste see so this is the same case with a PDF of flow plan or something like that it's going to be very very easy very very effective and not very time consuming so yeah I do videos only for you guys to have a very uh, easily accessible kind of activities in procreate so this is one of them and you can also give shadows beneath each layer and make it as realistic as possible so yeah guys I think we are done with this video so I have just shown only a few materials for the material library but you can show and you can create n number of material or elements library and it is up to you it is up to your design or project requirement how much of a big scale of an elements library that you want to create to yourself so yeah i think that is it for today's video you guys i hope you liked it and please make sure to comment down below what you liked about this video and what you would like to see next in my channel and also guys for the next coming two weeks i won't be able to 
upload any new videos on this channel because I have my submissions coming up so I need some time for my uni submissions after that I will be very very consistent but yeah but uh, in the meantime you can also follow me on my Instagram page and um, I have been posting all my shorts uh, videos there so you can still stay in touch with me throughout the next two weeks as well so please make sure to subscribe to my channel and always keep supporting the way you have until now and yes guys i will see you in my next video take care i will see you after two weeks so yeah wish me luck on my submissions and until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress bye